Hey everyone, it's Richard Melfin here, bringing you guys a little bit of a discussion video. I haven't done one of these in quite a while. Um, you know what time it is, as you can see below the title. Today we're going to be talking about this year's Summer Slaughter Tour. Now, this lineup has been announced, well, today. I mean, it was leaked like a day or so ago, but it was leaked like... Well, it was leaked today, but they also officially announced the lineup today. And already a few of the bands were confirmed, according to Ash from Sumerian Records. And I was kind of like, oh, it's okay. But I'm really hoping that it doesn't suck. And the lineup was announced, and uh, I'll just be honest with you guys. This is legit the fucking worst Summer Slaughter lineup ever. Like, it is just uh, laughably bad. Like, uh, what the fuck? Like, this is Summer Slaughter. It's a death metal tour. Tour, but uh, I'm just going to read off the bands that are right here, and I'm going to give you my thoughts. This year on Summer Slaughter, we have Between the Buried and Me, Born of Osiris, Veil of Maya, Era, The Agony Scene, Elysian, Terror Division, Sorruption, and Entheos. Which, if you can guess... By now, like, you're thinking, what the fuck, Summer Slaughter? I mean, they say it's the most extreme tour of the year, but you call it that extreme? Like, all right, my little gripe about this is, um, like, if this was, like, wasn't a Summer Slaughter, a Summer Slaughter tour package like that, then a lot of people wouldn't be bitching about it. But, but come the fuck on. This is Summer Slaughter. It's a death metal tour, not a fucking prog rock metal core dad rock tour. Which, I mean, I like some of that stuff, but for a... For us, the Summer Star, which is pr known as for be having like death metal and some deathcore bands, like ugh, this lineup is just utterly bad. But let's just talk about. I just wanted to give my thoughts on each of the bands that are playing. <laughs> let's start with the fucking headliners between the buried and me. Like, why the fuck is this band on the fucking bill? Like, seriously. I mean, I know they have some like heavier stuff. Like, I mean, I love like their older stuff, kind of has like colors and stuff, has sort of like that death metalish feel to it. Uh, I mean, this is only the second time they've headlined. Wine, I mean, I, or at least like played Summer Slaughter. I think they played in twenty twelve. But yeah, I mean, I'm not like the hugest fan of Between the Buried to Me, but uh, they're, like, they're just like anything after like the Great Misdirect is just uh, boring, and they pretty much bore the fuck out of me when I saw them back in March. I mean, I saw them when they played the Colors album in October last year, and that was fucking awesome. It's still probably their best album to date. And then we have uh, Born of Osiris, which I do enjoy. I mean, I'm friends with those guys as well. Last time I saw them was, of course, a couple, like a week or so ago in uh, Ground Zero in Spartanburg, South Carolina. And that was a pretty good show. I, I, And, of course, I'm friends with some of them as well. Yeah, would like to, to see them again. <laughs> like seeing, <laughs> I know, seeing Born of Osiris three times in one year, which is crazy. Um, <coughs> then Veil of Maya, which... I used to like them, but ever since they got, they switched singers, I don't really care for them anymore. Um, Era, uh, I don't understand why they're on this bill. I mean, I like them, but on a bill like this, on on a fucking summer slaughter, just uh, no. I mean, I've seen them twice. Last time I saw them was back in February with uh, August Burns Red and Born of Osiris, and I thought they were pretty good. I kind of like them, but on a bill like this, no. Uh, the Agony scene, I mean... These guys have been around for a while. I mean, I didn't even know they were still a band. I mean, I kind of like them, but I'm not too big into them. Uh, Elysian, I actually really like them. I mean, I've seen them twice. Last time I saw them was on my birthday. They were playing with uh, Rings of Saturn. I was bouncing between that and Watain, and they were pretty good. They're good. I'd really love to see Elysian again if I decide to go, which probably won't happen. Then we have uh, Terror, Terror Universal. I have no fucking clue who they are. The Surruption, I've heard a little bit of it, and honestly, they're alright. And then we have Entheos, which, I mean, I've seen them once before. They pl they played with uh, Whitechapel and Carnifex, and I thought they were pretty alright. I mean, um, they have, like, a chick doing vocals, and I thought they were impressive, but not, like, eh, mind-blowing. But overall, this year's Summer Slaughter lineup is just utter crap. Like, ugh, I probably most likely won't go to this just this year, I mean, I've went to the, the previous two, but eh, I probably am most likely going to skip this year. I mean, there's only like a few bands I'd rather see. I mean, I want to see 
I mean, Born of Osiris, uh, Era, Elysian, uh, pro probably a Surreption. And I want to see, hey, but those are like four bands I actually care about seeing. The rest of the lineup is just the crap. I mean, I'm not too surprised considering this kind of leaked before the official announcement, but yeah. <coughs> yeah, I mean, I'm probably not going to go unless somebody convinces me me to or if I can get it, or if, so, if I can, if there's some way I can get in for free, which it probably won't happen, but I probably would leave after Born of Osiris because I don't really care for BT Bam, which uh, unless somebody convinces me. I mean, I like I said, I've seen them live. The first time I saw them, like when I played Colors, I was like, Mind blowing, but I don't really care for the newer shit. That's just me. Now, overall, that's just my little thoughts and rant about this year's Summer Slaughter lineup. Like, I'm just seriously disappointed. Like, I don't think they'll ever top like 2016. I mean, which is my opinion is still probably their best one they've had yet. That's actually the first time I went to Summer Slaughter, but overall, I'm just this lineup is just disappointed. I mean, I wouldn't recommend going to this i mean if you if you, i mean if you like any of these bands i mean go by all means all the power to you but just overall i'm probably not gonna go but yeah that's my little thoughts on this year's summer slaughter lineup let me know in the comments what you guys think about it and i'll see you all in the next video and keep it metal